Everyone who wants to become a data analyst should consider a certification, because if done right, it's one of the easiest ways to get a job. Without experience, you're stuck. Why should they hire you over someone else? And that's when a certification comes in. It's a way to show that you have the skills and that you're employable. Now, I'm not pretending a certification gets you a job just like that. I've seen people lie about this and it makes me angry, but I do think that it's an untapped opportunity, and with so many people looking to break into data, this can actually help you stand out and be the thing that helps you get an interview and hopefully land a job. So what's a certification? Well, you study, you take a test, and then you're certified. It's not one of those courses online with a completion certificate, but now I've got 9 certs for beginners to get their first job and we'll cover them in no order because they're all unique. And so first up on the list we have the Microsoft Certified Azure Data Fundamentals. It's a beginner level cert and the role is for data engineering, but it can also be useful for data analytics. It's been recently updated and you'll focus on databases and working with Azure. Azure is Microsoft's cloud computing platform and it's one of the most popular out there. And knowing Azure as a data analyst can help you stand out. For this test, you're going to be focusing on working with relational and non-relational data as well as different types of data workloads like transactional or analytical data. And the real skills measured are describing some core data concepts, identify considerations for relational data on Azure, describe different things to consider when you work with non-relational data with Azure, and describe an analytics workload on Azure and how you do that. So if you have no idea what they're talking about, that's completely fine. They do have a learning path that you can take called Microsoft Azure Data Fundamentals, as well as a practice assessment and an exam sandbox where you can literally practice the exact type of questions that we're asking you on the exam. The exam is going to be 45 minutes to complete max, so it's very quick and you don't really need to stress about that. And if you do fail your certification exam, you can retake it within 24 hours after their first attempt. And so the exam is going to be proctored, which means that you'll be watched over, for example, if you're doing it from the comfort of your own home, but you can also take it on a physical test location. And it's offered in many different languages, and the price will vary depending on your country, but in the US, it's about $99. It's a good cert if you just want to focus on cloud technology which are very prevalent in data in general. But to specifically become a data analyst, there are some ones that are going to be better specifically for that role. And so the next one we got is the Power BI Data Analyst Associate Certification, also by Microsoft. And in this one, you're going to be demonstrating methods and different best practices that align with business and technical requirements for modeling, visualizing and analyzing data with Microsoft Power BI. That's a lot of stuff, but we're going to break it down real quick. So this one is intermediate, but if we actually look at this, it's pretty good for somebody looking for their first entry level role. It just means that you need to study a bit for it. You're going to be focusing on the Power BI suite and their product, which is a data visualization software, very common in data analytics. And the role is focusing specifically on data analytics. It was also recently updated. And the skills measured in this exam will be your ability to work with Power BI and prepare data with Power BI, model data using Power BI, visualize and analyze your data in Power BI, and also manage and secure Power BI, as well as working with Power Query and data analysis expressions in Power BI. So everything is basically done in Power BI. They do also offer a course to start learning this, which gives us a good indication of what they're actually going to be testing you on. And it starts with an introduction and preparing data for analysis, modeling data, creating visuals and reports, and managing workspaces and data sets in Power BI. So really useful stuff for a data analyst. They also offer some practice assessments and prep videos and exam sandbox. And during the exam, you'll have 100 minutes to complete the assessment. And it's also offered online with the same policies. And the price is $165 in the US, but it will vary depending on your region. But a bonus for this one is you can actually prepare for it on Coursera because Microsoft created a professional certificate which literally prepares you for this exact certification. It's about five months at 10 hours a week, so similar to the original Google Data Analytics certificate. And at the end, there's also a specific exam preparation and practice course, which I highly recommend you take even if you don't take the entire certificate. You will also get a 50% discount on your certification exam, which can also be quite useful. This is a great option, but assuming you want to work specifically with Power BI, and there are still some other skills like SQL and Python, etc. So, and that's just one data analytics skill. We'll cover some more certifications for other skills upcoming next. And so the next one is the CompTIA Datasys Plus, and it's one that you've probably never heard about because it's not a complete data analytics certification, but it can be very useful if you use it in the right way. CompTIA is a very famous certification provider offering tech certifications in all sorts of areas. And these certifications are very well known, which is a plus when you're looking for a cert. You might have heard about their IT certification A+, which is one of the most famous IT certs. 
Now, this one is a foundational level management certification focusing on the logistics of data administration and security. And you're going to be learning about database fundamentals, how to deploy databases, database management and maintenance, and also data and database security, as well as business continuity. And this one has been developed together with a couple of different companies that you might recognize, like Cisco and IBM. You'll have 90 minutes to complete the exam. There are going to be multiple choice and performance based questions. And there are no real prerequisites, but they do recommend two to three years of experience in a database administrator role. But if you do prepare for this exam specifically, you can do that even without that experience. For the price of this one, you'll have to buy one of their training bundles. And the price will depend on the specific cert and the package that you want to buy. But they're a little bit more expensive than the other certs on the list. Now, as a data analyst, this is good if you specifically want to learn more about data management and you want to get really strong in that aspect. But it does lack the normal data analytics skills. So I think the next one is going to be better for you. And that is their CompTIA Data Plus certification, which is an early career data analytics certification for professionals tasked with developing and promoting data driven business decision making. When it comes to the skills you'll learn, you'll learn about data concepts and environments, as well as data mining, some things about data analysis, visualization and data governance, quality and control, which is also very important. And the jobs that this one is associated with would be the data architect, the data analyst, business analyst, reporting analyst, and just different data analyst roles. Because for example, a marketing analyst is a form of a data analyst that focuses on marketing and a HR analyst focuses on HR. And you can also see that it's vetted by some of the top companies. It's 90 minutes and a maximum of 90 multiple choice and performance based questions. So it's pretty simple to fill in and you don't have to write that much. And you can either do this one at an online testing center or you can go to one of their physical locations if you do prefer that. They do recommend 18 to 24 months of experience in a report or business analyst job role, exposure to databases and analytical tools, and a basic understanding of statistics and data visualization experience. But again, if you do prepare specifically for this exam, you can do this without because there are no requirements. It's just a recommendation. They don't want to get somebody into the exam that has no idea what they're doing, especially considering that it is a bit pricier than the other options. So I would only recommend this if you're actually ready. The other options are going to be better if you're not completely sure that you're ready for the exam and you don't want to pay multiple times because it's going to get very expensive. And again, the actual experience level listed is beginner. So even if they're asking for some experience, they are listing it as a beginner certification. Now for this one, the training is going to be quite expensive if you buy their packages. So I would recommend checking out some free resources. You can find a lot of things online nowadays. And for the renewal, the only thing you'll need to do is every three years, complete a learning course, getting 20 of their points kind of, which makes you eligible for a renewal of your certification. You don't need to take it again, which is quite convenient. All right. So the next one is one from Google and they're usually offering more fair price than good certifications. They're famous for it. So this one is going to be the associate data practitioner. And as I'm recording this, it's actually not even been released. But for this one, you're going to be preparing and ingesting data, orchestrating data pipelines, analyzing and presenting data. And it's a cert about securing and managing data on Google Cloud. So Google Cloud is a cloud computing platform, which is commonly used in companies. And this just means that you can do different data tasks using their specific platform which is good to have on the job market. The exam length is going to be two hours and the fee is $125 to complete the exam, way more fairly priced than the CompTIA option, especially considering that the learning path is free and the language is going to be English. They might add some more languages in the future. It's still a very new one. And there are 50 to 60 multiple choice and multiple select questions. And you can either take it online from the comfort of your own home or you can take it at an on-site proctored exam testing center. Now, there are no prerequisites at all for this one. It's a beginner cert, but they do recommend six months of experience working with data on Google Cloud, which you can get by doing projects or just taking courses on Google Cloud and working with data. And even though I don't think you'll have to take the certification again, because it's not going to be a very relevant one once you actually get a job, you can renew your certification by just retaking the exam during a recertification time period and achieving a passing score, which you can start to do 60 days prior to your certification actually expires. And it does stay valid for three years from the date of the certification. So it's nothing to worry about. They do also offer an exam guide, which I recommend you check out as well as their free training because Google does offer a lot of that. And this one is focusing more on using data with Google Cloud for general use cases. And a part of it is going to be data analytics. It's similar to Microsoft's entry level cert that it's not specifically for data analysts, but it can definitely be useful as a data analyst. 
but Google is actually not the most popular cloud computing platform and companies actually use AWS and Microsoft Azure more. So the next one is a similar certification, but for AWS. And if you do like working with Amazon's cloud services, then this one is going to be a better option. It's 90 minutes and very similar. It's also foundational level and you'll validate foundational high level understanding of AWS cloud services and their terminology. This is a good starting point on the AWS certification journey for individuals with no prior IT or cloud experience, switching to a cloud career or for line of business employees looking for foundational cloud literacy, which would be similar to a data analyst where cloud is not the key skill, but it can be an important skill to make you stand out, which is the point of a certification anyway. The cost is $100 and you can take it online or at one of their physical test centers. The exam format is 60 questions in over 90 minutes. And they offer a lot of learning and preparation resources like their exam guides, as well as their knowledge and their different courses, and also their exam prep and other resources. And finally, like a practice exam to test your readiness, which I do think is really good. And they're offering a lot of things to help you prepare for the certification. Good option, assuming that you do want to focus on AWS. And so the next one is the Tableau certification. Now Tableau together with Power BI are the most popular data visualization softwares and getting certified in Tableau can help you stand out on the job market. It's provided by Salesforce and they offer entry level certifications. All you do is you click on resources and learning Tableau and then Tableau certification, which will take you to all of their certifications. Their most popular one is the Tableau Certified Data Analyst, but they also offer a couple of other options like the Tableau Desktop Specialist and Server Certified Associate, but that's not going to be very relevant for us. This one is to get certified in the hottest role in data analytics. So obviously the data analyst. And a Tableau data analyst enables stakeholders to make business decisions by understanding their problems, identifying data to explore for analysis, and delivering actionable insights. There are no required prerequisites for this exam, but they do offer a learning path and also a prep guide, which I highly recommend that you check out. And they do recommend that you have like six months of experience working with Tableau. That doesn't mean that you have to work specifically for a job. It just means that you've done a few projects with Tableau and, you know, you've explored the platform, you know how it works before you try to get certified in it. The exam prep guide looks something like this, and it's pretty long, and there are different things that you can see about it. The time limit is 105 minutes, and there are 60 multiple choice questions, and you'll need a score of 65% to pass, which is not too bad. It's pretty... 65% is reasonable, it's not like 90% or something. And you will get your results within 48 hours of completing the exam, and the fee is $250, you can either take it online or on site through your Tableau certification account. And they do offer the learning path, as I said, and you can see this over here, the analyst learning path, courses about Tableau desktop, and also a preparation course for the exam. The exam outline shows that it's first about connecting and transforming data. And then it's about exploring and analyzing data using Tableau, and then creating content with Tableau, and then publishing and managing content on Tableau Server and Tableau Cloud. So basically sharing your projects and your resources created using Tableau. There's also more details about the content, which you can check out. And they do actually offer a pretty good preparation guide with a lot of information. And certifications are valid for 24 months from the date you pass the exam. And to recertify, you're going to have to take the entire exam again. But it's a pretty short one, so it's not that big of a deal. Great option for those who prefer working with Tableau over Power BI and they want to focus on getting certified in it. It's a very useful skill and many companies are looking for it. But for those of you who are just getting started with Tableau, but you still want to get certified, they do also offer a Tableau Desktop Specialist Cert, which is a easier certification. And it's also much more affordable at only $100 instead of $250, which does not focus on data analytics, but just focuses on proving your basic skills and product knowledge of Tableau and the platform. So you're not going to be focusing on analyzing data or something with Tableau. It's more just about learning the fundamentals and showing that you can work with the platform. They also offer an exam guide and some learning content. And it's a good option if you just want to do it quickly. But for most people, I do recommend that you go all the way and to the next certification as it's going to be more valuable to get the data analyst cert versus just the general Tableau desktop specialist beginner certification. And so the next one is going to be a Cloudera certification. Cloudera is a very famous platform that offers a lot of different services such as enterprise AI and data lake houses and just a data platform. And they're also offering certifications, for example, the Cloudera Data Analyst Certification. This Cloudera Data Analyst exam tests the required Cloudera skills and knowledge required for data analysts to be successful in their roles. And you're going to be working with different Cloudera tools. So you do need to be aware of those and specifically learn them if you don't, as well as Apache Hive, Impala, 
Rangers and Atlas. And if you've never heard about these, that's completely fine. They do offer some learning paths and there'll be 50 questions in the exam. You have two hours to complete it and you'll just need 60% or higher to pass the exam. And it's delivered online as well. And this is how it actually looks like, right? There's a 10% focusing on Cloudera data visualizations and just creating dashboards and what data this actually means. Then 20% of the exam is going to be about using Apache Hive and Impala. 10% will be about using Apache Ranger and Atlas. 8% about Impala SQL and Apache Hive. 20% about aggregate statistics and working with aggregate function. 12% about Hive and Impala optimization. 10% about data management and storage, which might sound more familiar compared to all of these things. And then 10% about working with Cloudera and their data warehouse platform. Now, they do offer a lot of different training that you can check out. And I would say that if you're a beginner and you're not really sure if you want to focus on this specific platform, I don't recommend it. It's just a good option if you are sure that you want to work with these tools. But it is a much more specialized exam covering their specific things rather than some of the Microsoft and Power BI and different things that we talked about, which are more popular tools. And it's a good option, but definitely not for everyone. And also make sure to check out the video on the screen where we cover more things to help you become a data.